Hey YouTube, this is Backcountry Outdoors and today we are going to be painting a uh, <clears throat> little popper and what we're going to do with this little popper is we're going to use some stencils that people usually don't think of and we've got a dryer sheet right here that's uh, in our little cross stitch ring. It's the smallest ring I have and I just take and I cut that excess out and we're going to use it as stencil. It makes a cool effect. We're going to paint three colors. We're going to have Wicked Black, Wicked Red, and some of the cheap Amazon Sky Blue. Stay tuned. We'll get some paint loaded up and we'll paint this thing and I'll show you what it turns out. And it looks cool. Alright, so the first color we're going to be using today will be the Wicked Black. We're going to coat this thing. We're going to prime him in a black color. And we are using the Gallery Airbrush. And this is the cheapest model. This is the GH AD39. I've had it for a while. I've done a review on it. And it does pretty good. If you watch the review, at first I had some trouble out of this airbrush until I cleaned it. Once I cleaned it, it not a bad painting little airbrush if you're looking for something. Uh, I think I paid $29 for it on a flash sale on Amazon. But on average they're around 39 bucks. But as you can see, she sprays pretty good once we got it cleaned up. Not a bad little airbrush. Alright, we got her coated in our black and we'll get the next color loaded up and we'll get back to you. Alright, we got uh, some wicked red loaded up in the airbrush and we're going to spray it with that next and we're going to use our dryer sheet at this time. And people ask me about stencils. I will try to use anything as a stencil as long as it's got some kind of preparation in it, holes or something. I will try to make a stencil out of it. And you have to spray pretty heavy. Try to get this clean spot right across the back right here. Splotch him up a good bit. Then we're going to dry him up some. And we 
got a little red on him there. You can get it focused just a little. He'll really pop out when we get him in the KBS too. That red will really pop. All right, we'll get this uh, next color, this sky blue, loaded up, and we'll get a look at him. All right, we got our blue loaded up and our little paintbrush here. That sky blue, and we're going to use our little netting here, and we're going to get him in some fish scales in this light blue. All right, we'll get him dipped in the KBS, and we'll show you what he turns out like. We'll probably, we may touch him up in the mouth right here. We'll, we might put some more red in, touch him up in the mouth. It may be spray a little bit of red here. And make him look real good, and we'll get him dipped in the KBS. See how he turns out. All right, we got some eyeballs put on him here and we are fishing to get him dipped and see what he looks like y'all have to forgive me I'm learning how to operate my new camera See if I can get it to focus a little better and give it a background. There we go. Well, we had it. There we go. We'll put a little red underneath, up front, at the back. And I will get you a good picture of it once it dries out. But you can see like right here, you can really see the red coming through. We decided to go with red eyes. And this camera just don't pick up all the colors that great because I'm wearing red. But that red is really shining through that thing. Especially right around the gill plates, right here at the back. <clears throat> it turned out just what I thought it would. It turned out beautiful. Uh, you can buy, use anything for stencils. As long as it's got a hole in it, you can use it. Alright, I'll get it hung up and I'll come back and talk to you. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll keep learning how to operate this camera. I've been practicing a little, but not not getting a whole lot of practice with it. But I hope you enjoyed that and see that you can use just about anything for a stencil uh, to make these lures with. I hope it helps you out uh, if you're looking for stencils to use. Uh, Hopefully it'll help you uh, 
learned that you can grab just about anything with holes in it that's uh, cheesecloth, uh, dryer sheets, anything like that is going to work as a stencil. And I hope uh, that helps you out in some way. Uh, if you like this, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate all of you uh, following me. Thank you for the new uh, subscribers. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. And y'all have a good day. Backcountry out.